Welcome back to Monday's Nail of the Week. Hope your week is going great. And I hope the Kansas City Chiefs won because that's the set of nails I did. Check them out. Aren't those darling and cute? I love them. Perfect for the Super Bowl. And like I said, I hope that they win. I pre-record all of my videos, so I haven't even seen the Super Bowl yet, and I'm really rooting for Kansas City. A few of you came in and said that you're also rooting for Kansas City, so go Kansas City. I'm pretty excited. Um, I'm going to show you a real quick picture. I told you I, when I did that French tip look, I wanted to tell you how great that um, Yellow Stopper works on a set of pure white French tip nails. Well, check this out after seven days, how great it held. What do you think? After a whole week, it stayed so white and bright and I could have continued to wear them, but I had to do my new set of nails for the week. But yeah, I highly recommend the Yellow Stopper. I don't know why, but for some reason, me and all of my friends and people I know love white tips. They do it for weddings, for fancy get-togethers, for you know getting married or whatever, but they won't do it any other time because they said they discolor way too fast and they don't like them. Whether they get it done in a salon, they put white tip nails on, like just glued on ones that are already white tipped, or, or I do their nails, or I do my own nails. We all start discoloring. I don't know why, if it's from food, uh, if it's from people smoking, if, if it's from the debris, I don't know what it is, but they're just gross. But the yellow stopper worked. I love it. I'm going to be putting it on this set to cover up the white so that the white stays nice, bright, and white. So I'm excited about that, and I highly recommend you look into it. It's eight bucks at Sally's or between eight and nine dollars. Could be a little cheaper online. Now, this design, I'm super excited about it. I'm rooting for Kansas City. I'm a true die-hard Viking fan, but our Vikings didn't make it to the Super Bowl. But now, I'm going to root for Kansas City Chiefs. Since the word is Kansas City, now I know it has nothing to do with Kansas City, but Kansas City is where Dorothy grew up. There's no place like home. So, and it's been so long since Kansas City took it, you know, won the Super Bowl. In fact, when they did, it, I think it was against our team way, way back, and they won against us. So it's been a long, long time, I believe. I think my husband was telling me. Um, I may be wrong. If I am, I apologize. But, uh, yeah, it's been a while. I think it's been a lot longer than San Francisco, so I really hope that uh, Kansas City takes it. And the other people that voted for Kansas City, I hope for your sake, by this video, we already know that the Kansas City took it. And I'm sure you guys are excited and wondering what I'm pulling off for Fashion Friday to match these nails. I can't wait to show you. If you're new to my channel, right there, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. Underneath it, hit the notification bell so you're notified of all of these uploads that you don't miss since I teach keto and I can help each and every one of you get your life back. Definitely share around my channel so that it can grow bigger and I can help many more people get their life back. Since I was taught professionally, I can teach you professionally. And also, if you enjoyed this video, shoot me a thumbs up. If if you're a Kansas City Chief fan, give me a thumbs up. Or if you just love the nails the way I did them, thumbs me up because I smile whenever I see it. And definitely shoot me some comments down below if you'd like. I love you all very much. Everybody take care. God bless. And I'll see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Let's get started on my Kansas City nails. Hey, everyone. So here's what I chose to go with for this week's nail design. I do not know yet who won the Super Bowl, but as you see, I have Super Bowl nails rooting for the Kansas City Chiefs. If you'd like to see how I did this one, continue watching. Hi everyone and welcome back to Nail of the Week and my Super Bowl nails. I am excited. I said back in a few videos that I was rooting for Kansas City Chiefs. By the time you guys get this video, you'll know who won because you get the video on Monday. I pre-record these videos and don't know yet who won, but I am excited and rooting for Kansas City. One, because they're called Kansas City and 
That's where Dorothy was from, Kansas City. Now, I know that has nothing to do with the Kansas City Chiefs, uh, but I just like the name, Kansas City. So that's why I'm rooting for them. And it's been a long time since they've been in a Super Bowl and won it. So I just really want Kansas City to win. And so we're doing a red and white look here, um, a French look. I've left one nail open to show you how I'm doing that red and white. And then I have a couple accent nails. We'll go over and I'm going to show you all the products that I'm using in today's design. All right, for starters, for that sheer pink, I actually made my own sheer pink. And let me tell you, it is my favorite and it would have costed me $2 to make this. Let me show you how I made it. Okay, I bought this clear right here. This was clear to originally start with the clear gel, you know, gel polish from Dollar Tree. And I don't know if this is a base coat or a uh, top coat. It doesn't say but that's what I got was that. And then I had a pink, a light, light pink by Wet n Wild that is called uh, Tickled Pink Rose. Here, I'll just show it to you. Tickled Pink, and it's uh, number five, 4558. And I'm sure you can definitely get this one because it wasn't long ago that I got it, especially since this cover is new. That's their new look. Um, but it's this color pink. I added 20 drops of that into this clear bottle. That's why it looks different. And I also used the $1 Kiss Gel Polish, the tan. I used 10 drops of this. I took those two colors together, and this is what I came out with. And it costed me $2 because I already had this polish. So you can use any soft pink, just a baby pink. You don't have to use this one, just a baby pink. But if you don't have this one, run out to the dollar store. It's $1 by the tan. There it is there and buy a clear polish, the gel clear, and put 20 drops of a light pink, very light baby pink, and, uh, uh, sorry, 10 drops of this one. And that's the color you get. And I love the thickness of it. I love the way it turned out. And now instead of doing the OPI one that I like, which is $8 a bottle, this costed me $2 to make. And it's gonna last me for a long time because these bottles are pretty full. They are uh, 13, ML 0.44 US fluid ounces. It is a pretty big bottle and I love it. Look at how pretty it, it turned out, the sheerness. Now, if you want it more pink, you can add more drops of the pink, less of the tan. So you can do like 30 drops of the pink to get a little bit more of a pink look, but it is pretty pink. It's just hard to tell on here, um, but I did 20 pink and 10 of the tan. All right, so that's what I used for my sheer background. And like I said, I made it. And I got that idea from Robin Moses. She makes all of her beautiful polishes uh, when they're ones like this for French tips and stuff. She's very great at that. All right, and then for the red, I used this one here. Um, I think I got this, believe it or not, from a garage sale. I think somebody was making polishes and they just put the word red on it. I don't know where you can get it. So any red's gonna work. You know, you guys can use any red, but that's the red I'm using. And I am using uh, the... Kiss Gel Polish in the white, which is the French white. Sorry, it's got a little bit of paint over it, but that one from Dollar Tree, the white, that's what I'm using. And I'm going, some got a smaller stripe of white, bigger stripe of red, and then it goes, if you look at this finger, then it goes a bigger stripe of, of white, smaller stripe of the red. I'm going back and forth, but keeping each one the same on each side, if you see how I'm doing that. So it goes back and forth. Now I have two nails here that were done with a glitter, and I'll show you that. Um, I did put down two coats, first off, of this on all the nails, two coats of the one I made, and even on the accent nail. And then I used this one, the Funky Fingers, and it's called a Unicorn Dust. It's a beautiful color. That's going to be my accent nails that I'm going to do a football on one, not sure which one, but a football on one. And the other one is going to be a big KC, the letters K and C in white, and then I'm going to border it with black and red. So it's going to look pretty neat. Yeah, I love it. And then I'm um, going through these nails here. I'm going to do a line of black, which, whoops, wrong one. The Art Deco here, which is just black. I'm going to do a couple of lines to make this a little bit more sporty-like. So I'm going to go down the, the red one, the red paint. I'm going to go down and kind of come at an angle. You'll see kind of like almost a burst. I'm going to do that with the black. So we get the red, black, and white in there for Kansas City Chiefs. And then I'm going to work with acrylic paints. I'm going to be working with four colors here. Brown, they're all by the Apple Barrel. I'm going to work with brown oxide, snow white, black, and a bright red. And some of the colors I'll be mixing in um, the brown. I need the black to mix in the brown a little bit to make the football a little darker, I think. It might need to be a little darker, maybe not. Um, and then I'll need the white to do the little lines on the football. And then the red is going to be for bordering and the black for bordering the Kansas City, the C, uh, the KC that I put in. I'll be using Robin Moses's brush here, the wand. I love her brush. 
This is her liner in her, yeah, liner. And then the striper is her unicorn. Love, love, love her brush. And then I'm going to top everything off with the Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat. I am excited to do this one because it's a more sporty look and it's going to be fun. So let me get started on some of the lines. And or actually, I'm going to get set up and we'll start with this one. I want to show you how I did those uh, red and white, you know, French tips. I'll be right back. All right. When I did the red and white, I started with the white paint first because I wanted the red to go over the white. And you see there's a little bit of a you know mess up here where it's not a straight exact line, but that's okay because I'm doing the black there. So these don't have to be perfect straight lines, but we're going to draw in and we're going to do the white first. The white is staying on the same side of every nail, but this one's going to be longer since this one was shorter. So now the white's going to be longer. We're going to dip into the white paint to start with, and we're going to go up higher with it, and we're doing a V. So just go up. Draw your line down like that. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, but if you want to try to get it as perfect as you can, that's fine. And then fill it in all your free edges and everything and get up here closer so that line is better. So it's got that perfect V that, uh, well, it's not a perfect V where you're doing like a uh, chevron. We're not doing that, but close to a chevron. And then we're going to cap off the end here where... Um, the white would be, and then the other spot where the red will go, we'll do it with that. But we're just going to do a coat here, and then we're going to let it dry, and we're going to do a second coat of that. I'm going to let that dry, do the second coat, and then I will be back after that's dry to show you how to do the red, okay? So we'll back away here. I'm going to let that dry. Like I said, top coat it one more time with the white, and then let it dry, and then I'll be back to show you the red. All right, while I was waiting for the white to dry up, I went ahead and did those spurts of black, and that's what I'm talking about. That's how we're gonna run the black through it, and I'll show you that after we get this one done here. So we're gonna draw in now, and now we're gonna work on the red, okay? And the red's gonna be a shorter one now because it's longer on the, the one next to it. So this is shorter because the white's longer. So now we're just gonna come down here, and we're gonna do the V coming across now. Just a much shorter V so it doesn't go up as high as the other one because we want it you know, different. We want a different type of a French here. All right, and then we're going to make sure we get the side walls and everything, making sure we're capping off the end there and making sure that it goes right to just where the red is there and making sure our side walls are perfect, just like that. It is going to get a second coat, and then we're going to go ahead and go on to the black stripes, and I'll show you that. I'll be right back. All right, it's dry enough to go ahead and use our Art Deco lining paint. And we're just going to get a little bit of paint on it. And it's got that beautiful, long, you know, thin brush, which works perfect. We're going to go to the end of the nail here. And we're just going to set the brush down and anchor it first. Make sure it's anchored. After you got paint, then just start to come up and just go off to the side like that. And then we're going to do the same for the next line. We're going to dip back in the paint. Start right back over the same spot. Oh, I'm getting a little bit blurry here. Start back over the same spot and just go a little ways and burst it off this way. And then we're going to do another one. Dip again and same thing. Go over the same line and come this way and burst it up however you want, just like that. Isn't that cool looking? I just wanted the black added in there because it is, you know, Kansas City and they are black, red, and white. They got a little bit of black in there. So I thought that would look cool and, cool and kind of give it that sport look, having the lines running through it like that. All right, now we're going to work on the football and the um, KC. So let me get set up and all ready to go. All right, we're ready to go. I have got my brown that I've added a little bit of black in, so it's a darker brown. I'll show you up close. A darker brown for the football. And then I need the red and the white and the black to do the KC, the two letters. And of course, because, um, you know, each one is just one accent nail of a football in KC. I had to be on here for both, so I couldn't start anything. So we're going to go ahead and put the KC on this one. We're going to start with the brush. I got it all cleaned. We're going to get some white paint in here. I did put water into the paint. I did spray it down a little bit, so it'll go on easier. Now we want a big K and a big C. So let's start right here with the K, and we're just going to come down at an angle, starting with our the K. Okay. And it's going to be pretty big because it's not, you know, it's only two letters. So we'll we'll get this one pretty big here. All right. And then let's bring our lines down to form the K. Just like that. Hopefully, oh gosh, I was off camera. Sorry. It's 
or to do both when you go off. All right, there's the K. And like I said, we are going to be bordering this with red and white, uh, red and black. So that'll make it look really neat. Just kind of filling it in. Wherever I make any mistakes, I'll go back over it and then let's put the big C in right next to it. Okay, so we're just gonna start doing our C. Going around like that and coming up. Filling it with good paint there so it really fills in and thickens because like I said, there's only two letters so we can make this bigger. And there's the C, K, C. All right, so we'll bring it up a little farther there. And it'll be really great once I border that. All right, so we got the K, C on one hand and the other hand's gonna be the football. So I'm gonna let that dry just a little bit so I don't mess up and I will, actually, you know what? We can go ahead, I'll just be careful. All right, we're gonna dip into the brown. We're gonna go to this side. And this side, we're gonna draw a um, football. So we're gonna start at one point and round it off. I hope I am not, hang on. Don't wanna be touching any of this. And I think my red is touching that. Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> just got to be very careful not to put that KC over that. All right, so we'll lean my finger like that so I don't do that. All right, so we're going to do a football. Start at, you know, the, the center here and come around because a football is, you know, comes to two corners like that. So you want it like that. And then same thing with this side. You want that point and then you want to come around and come back to your point. And don't worry if it's perfect at first right now because we're just getting the, the outline of your football, okay? You can always clean up the lines and everything. You can always make it look perfect afterwards. But we'll go like that. Then we'll fill it in. And like I said, any mistakes we make, we can fix. No problem. It's just getting the outline. And if you don't think it was thick enough, then thicken it up more. That's what I'm going to do here. Thicken that up a little bit more and come to a sharper point here. A little bit higher. Filling that football in. All right. Hopefully I've been on camera the whole time. Hopefully I'm not slipping off. Hard to do both. And then we're going to round off the other side just a little bit more too. Okay, get that point and come around and make it fatter. And then come back in to that point. So we got a nice football. That's what we want. A nice, beautiful brown football coming up to the corner there. There's our football. All right, now we do got to let this stuff dry up before we can do any more. So I'm going to let this dry and I will return. Okay, that football is still drying a little bit, but the KC is ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and start bordering that. I'm going to start with the red. So we're going to dip into the red. Not a lot, though. You want it to be very, very, very little paint now, but on the tip. Make sure it's on the tip of it. Okay? Very little, and you want to be careful. Why is my tip acting funny? Hang on. Okay. Now we're just going to... Wait a minute. I don't like the way this is going here. I'm going to clean this out. Maybe it just had too much paint in it. Okay. Try this again here. Get my nice point to my brush. All right. Then get the paint just on the tip. I want it just to the tip and just a little. Okay. Now it should be okay and hopefully we won't ruin that football. All right. We're just going to draw down. Go up to your white and just draw very carefully down. Just filling like bordering it is what you're doing. Just border your your K and your C very carefully. No rush here. No reason to rush. Just take your time. Be patient. Follow around. And you, like I said, you don't want a lot of paint and you want your paint watered a little bit. A little bit. It doesn't have to be super watered. But the, you know, when it's watered, it just works better. Oh, I'm getting off again. I'm sorry. And you're just bordering that K and that C. Just giving it a red, outlining it, I mean. And 
even if it's a little messed up, you don't have to worry because we're going over with black as well. All right, let's do the C now. Just outline the C. And it doesn't need to be perfect. We can also clean up any mistake with white too. That's what's nice about it. Any time the red would come in too far or, you know, not enough or whatever, you can actually go back and use the white and clean it up and make it a little thicker and clean it up perfectly so the lines are good. Hope I'm not ruining that football. I feel like that football is touching the other finger. If it is, I'll just fix it a little bit. But just keep outlining your C. All right. And come down like that. Coming up. And closing it off right there. All right, that's the K and the C with the red. We will be doing a little bit of um, the black around it as well. I think that'll really look good. I think it needs the black, red, and white. All right, so we're going to finish letting this dry up, and we'll go on to the next step. Okay, I started to clean up the K part, but I thought, I know you guys probably want to see how I do that. So you're just going to dip into the white, okay? And we're going to make this line even better by just going back into the center of the nail and just clean where that red is so these lines get perfect. See how they'll get perfect then? And then you get these perfect, perfect lines because you're using the white now to clean up the mistake you made. Any mistakes so the lines weren't perfect. So if you get what I'm saying, it's fixing the lines as I'm going down. See how it's making it thinner? And then like right there where it's messed up, got it that blurry. Where it messed up right there, we're gonna take it in and add the white. See how it cleans it up perfectly? And then over to this side, same thing. We're gonna clean that up, that red, kind of blotchy, clean it up. And anywhere where you don't think you got enough red then, same thing. I'm gonna dip into the red and add just a little bit more um, red right here where now it doesn't look like I have the red. I'm gonna go back over with the red now. So you can just go back and forth and click, you know, keep playing until you get it perfectly the way you like it, just like that. All right, we're gonna let that dry and we're gonna start bordering it with black. I'll be right back. All right, so you see I got the black outlining the red now and we're gonna outline the C with the black. I just thought I would get one done. I wanted to see if I'm able to go around it. Now this one, we really want barely any paint. So we're gonna go very light with the black. The black line's gonna be even thinner and it's gonna be on the outside of the red. So just follow around the red like that not having a lot of paint on your brush, and just outline the um, red part. Okay, get a little bit more, and you don't need a lot, like I said. It's very, very, very little black you're using, because I don't want it to be too much. So now we're gonna, I'm gonna draw in here, because I need to come down with this line here. So we're just going like that very lightly all right and then coming around this side and we're gonna meet it down here now like I said don't worry <clears throat> if it doesn't look perfect because we're not gonna worry about that because we can dip back into the red and we can add more red into there so you see it more you see that so we got more red in there. And then we can go, whoops, boy, that was a lot of white. And then we can go right back through the center again, cleaning up that red that got a little bit thick, but now we can still see it, you know, where you see the black, red, and white. And I hope you can see that, you see that? What line is it? Oh, that's just a line of white. Okay, it just, it looks thicker. I was like, why does that look like there's a black line there? I'll bring this down and fix it. All right, so there we go. There's the K and the C, and I see a little bit of cleanup I wanna do there. So we're gonna grab the white on that K there. I believe it's right there, and we're just gonna clean up that little bit there. So that looks nicer, and then we're gonna clean up right here, so that looks nicer. See, it's just the point of getting it cleaned up and nice. There's our KC. Um, let's see, we need a little bit more red, I believe, right up in here. So let's draw a little red line right up here. 
There we go. There, I like that. That is cute. All right. Let's let this dry, and then we're going to go on to our football. Okay, now we're going to do our football. So we're going to get some white, and we're just going to do a little thin line through the center of this football. Let's draw in here. Okay. And then not the entire football. Remember, we can go through the whole thing. So starting, you know, about this point here, we're just going to draw a white line going down. And this does not have to be perfect, but you do want it thin. Okay, so just be careful. And stop it before that point. And then we're going to do our little lines through our football. So we're just going to go on on each side and put our football stripes in. Set the brush down as you're doing it and kind of let it flow as you're doing it, just like that. That's a good football right there. We all know what it is now. We all know it's a football. <laughs> all right. We're going to let these dry up, and then we are going to top coat everything. I think this looks good. I don't think it needs any more. I might add maybe a bling to the KC. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what happens. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, just to the KC, because we want to keep them very much sport-like, I want to add a red, black, and white stone. So we're going to draw in here. I've got them laid out. Um, you guys can't see them after I draw in. And I've got the glue just on a cap here. I'm just dipping in with an orange wood stick, and we're just going to stick one here first. So let's do the red one here. And this is smaller. The red and the, the, um, the, red and the diamond one is smaller, and the black one is bigger. So we'll find a spot for the black one. Let's put the black over here so that's more protected. Okay, and I'm going to use a Q-tip to pick up the black one because it is heavier. Oops. Okay, we got to try to flip this over. <laughs> All right. Then we'll put the black right there. Okay, but we don't want that C to be covered. Whoops. <laughs> you guys didn't get to see that. Sorry. All right, and now the diamond. We'll put the diamond right up in this corner here. Pick it up with the Q-tip and put that right in the corner. That's why That way I had the red, white, and black going. I thought that would look cool, just adding in the, the rhinestones into the, you know, the KC. Just blinging that one out a little bit because I love my bling. So, all right, now we are going to top coat everything, and then I will return to show all of you guys the end product. Alrighty, everyone, I am all done. Aren't these just amazing and perfect Super Bowl nails for the Kansas City Chiefs? Love the way they turned out, and I do like that KC having the black, red, and white stone. I just love all bling, and that nail is a blingier nail, just like the football one. And I love how I did the red and white tips with the black burst. I just think that they are perfect for my Super Bowl nails and for rooting for Kansas City. Let's go, Kansas City. Of course, these are pre-recorded videos, so I do not know who won yet, but I'm excited, and I hope Kansas City takes it all the way. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely give it a try, and I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Oh, 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 oh.